top-rated kickboxer back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure the sure. himself. He's that... So here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this guy. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Liver kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here, Tom. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Three minutes. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Fighters back to their feet here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. What a fun pass. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, that right hand is on point. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's gonna break him? 
Joy gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. It's the elbow there. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice punch here. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Oh, you can feel the breeze there, swinging him his... Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Straight right, he misses. Oh, knee to the head. Right hand punches the clinch. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, Superman punch is good. Final seconds of round one. Oh, nice, nice. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponents not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-twos. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, big punch land. Ooh! Pretty significant welt to the left side. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single round to the high crotch. Oh. Oh. Deep flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or did no, I read my last no, round? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, Josh. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Close guard. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Under three minutes now to go in round two. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Good punch. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another. Beautiful takedown. 
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Choi. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Two minutes now to go in the round. All right, close guard now. Got to be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Lifts on the straight right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Spinning back fist. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. It's the same story, just told on a different day. Takedown after takedown after takedown. 30 seconds to go in round two. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Move it, move it. Both fighters get up now. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Just missed with that right hand. Beautiful strike. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You knocked him down. You shown you have the power to put anybody away. This round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Choi gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice kick. right hand, John. Just out of range with the big right hand. Choi's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Right, nice go. job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Great punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Nice takedown there. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Short. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground to pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. 
Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. More clinch work here now, an uppercut to the head. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Just missed with the left there. Good stick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Beautiful leg kick throw. Lands flush with that right hand. Connects with the right. Wow, actually got the takedown. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Slips the punch nicely there. A oh, little single collar tie there. Oh, misses with the jab. Whiffs on that offer. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Whiffs on the elbow. Nice loop and punch. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent to shoot. Huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that's going to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh. Oh. Right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You need to recover. You're sucking win right now because you're over all right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for this. Oh! Huge right hand! Hollow tie, reach back inside and try to find space. Just out of range with that right hand. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Big punch land. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, going back to the well with that elbow and the clinch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh, 
timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice strike. fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Back mount now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. And just misses with that big right hand. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he gets the takedown here. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Let's see if he can secure top position after working so hard for that takedown. Nice hammer fist. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Down into his mount. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Close guard. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And he's back up again. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Boom! Big jab. Just out of range with that right hand. Nice kick. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, collar tie. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Hey, stop. Great work last round. Keep that pace up. Wow. I'm impressed. I want you to keep pushing. Keep breaking this guy down. And keep changing up your strikes. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. He blocks the punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Oh, oh, those are those. Oh! Oh! Able 
able to check that kick as well. Just misses with a left hook there. Beautiful take down the tip lane. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Both fighters back to their feet now. Single collar tie now. Oh, and he got tagged by that combination. His coach said on Thursday to us, he had him hurt. Big diving punch lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Liver kick. He lands the right hand. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Ooh, big shot lands. Right hand on point. Nice body kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Ooh, blocks the shot. Big leg kick lands. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a... Oh! He's out! Oh! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 37 seconds of round number 5. We're playing the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. All right, so there he is, the man.